through, to, to start off, I think if you're in a club where you have multiple teams or a minor hockey association, the two biggest things that you need to have happen is number one is consistency in the coaching philosophy, and two is consistency in what coaches are teaching. And to Mike's point, if he's with the Pittsburgh Penguins and he wants to have a puck possession team, their farm team has to have a puck possession mentality as well. If they're going to call players up, number one, they have to know what's going on, and number two, they have to have the skill set to play that way. And it's no different in minor hockey, junior hockey levels. Coaches have to be on the same page. So from a development standpoint, it's one of the most important things you can do is working with the other coaches at the different levels in your, with your teams and making sure you're on the same page. At the start of the year, how many of you have had two or three practices or a couple games and said to yourself, I can't believe what these kids don't know? Or I can't believe what these kids can't do? Everybody says the same thing. It's happened to every single one of us. And that goes back to the point that in Canada, as you all know, we have a million hockey experts. And the biggest thing that we have is we have this coach doing this thing, this coach doing that, this one doing this thing. Our coaches are all over the map as far as consistency and standardization. So it makes it really hard to have that good development component and making sure we're on the same page, making sure kids have the same skill sets, they understand the same tactics. So from that standpoint, three main components. Number one, the kids have to enjoy coming to the rink. And to me, that's the most important thing. If they like coming to the rink, they're going to enjoy it, they're going to be motivated, they're going to give you more back. Number two, it's improvement of the player's skills. We all want to win. I want to win when I'm coaching. But at the end of the day, that shouldn't be at the forefront. It should be about developing the player's skills and then lastly, getting the players on to the next level. You could have a real good one loss record, but at the end of the day, if you're not moving kids on to the next level, is it really success? Conversely, you could have a real poor one loss record, but if you're continually putting players on to the next level, that's going to be success. 